My name is Manju Singh. I am working as an assistant professor at HR group of institutions, Ghaziabad, in pharmacy department. Today, I am going to teach biostatics and research methodology with code 801T. Today's topic is Unit 4 Mini Tap Software. So, let's start it. First of all, let's start with the introduction. So, here it is Mini Tab. Mini Tab is a statistical software package that was designed especially for the teaching of introductory statics courses. It means it used for the teaching of introductory statics. It is easy to use statistical software package is a vital and significant component of a course. This is designed essentially for the Six Sigma professionals to give effective solutions for statistical analysis is most of Six Sigma projects. Earlier we have seen or we have tried two softwares that is MS Excel and SP Assess. In they, the both two softwares were uh, we use them in biostatics or doing, doing statistical projects. This mini tab is also for statistical projects, but it is generally used for Six Sigma professionals. In coming up slides, we will see what is Six Sigma projects. So, Minitab is actually, it is a very simple, effective for input or manipulating the statistical data. It identify trends and easily find solutions and also used in DOE. What is DOE? So, DEOEE -E -E, design of experiment. We, we use mini tab in DOE. DOE full form is design of experiment. You will also learn DOE in your unit 5. So, mini tab is used to prepare data in simple form and to visualize the data in simple graphical output, scatter plot, box plot, histogram, etc. I can write here it is simple graphical output. box plot histogram etc there are many versions of mini tab such as mini tab student version 14 mini tab version 13 running under windows. It means version 14, uh, the coming version 14 is for students and version 13 which was already running under windows and also many versions. The text based on Minitab student version 14 and Minitab version 13. It means earlier it was not 
text based but now on Minitab student version 14 and 13 it is text based. So, applications of Minitab. Minitab is simple, effective for input or manipulate the statistical data, identify trends and patterns and easily find the solutions to the current issues. It provides standard statistical methods, regression, correlation, multivariate analysis, quality control, charts, DOE, etc. DOE is design of experiment. Minitab has two main type of files such as projects and worksheets. This line is very important. Minitab has two type of files, projects and worksheets. Projects are made up of the commands, graphs and worksheets. In Minitab software, there is ease of learning and use are silent features of the package with obvious benefits to the students and to the instructor who can relegate many details to the software. It serves as a perfectly adequate tool for many of the statistical problems that students will encounter in their UG education. Here UG means undergraduate. It is well suited for instructional applications, but is also powerful enough to be used as a primary tool for analyzing research data. Now, uses of mini tab. It is very useful software for industry and research for the implementation of Six Sigma projects. It is also used to prepare data in simple form and to visualize the data in simple graphical output. Scatter plots, box plots, histogram, etc. Also useful for calculation of clinical data. It can be used for learning about statics as well as statistical research. Minitab also produce often software that can be used in conjugation with Minitab. Quality training is an e-learning package that teaches statistical tools 
and concepts in the context of quality improvement. Features, what are the features of Minitab software? So, it also offers screening design, factorial designs, response surface designs, mixture designs and Taguchi Robusta designs. It also provides several analytical tools and graphs tools to interpret the results. Minitab for data management. Entering the data into a worksheet, improving sorry, importing data, pattern data, printing data in the session window, assigning constants, naming variables and constants, information about a worksheet, editing a worksheet, saving, retrieving and printing etc. Minitab for data analysis. Looking at data distributions Plotting data, normal distribution, probability, sampling distribution, introduction to inference, inference for two way tables, multiple regression, one way analysis of variance, two way analysis of variance bootstrap methods and permutation control and capability functions in Minitab. Mathematical functions, matrix in algebra, etc. So, Minitab is generally used for Six Sigma projects. So, let us see what is Six Sigma project. Six Sigma is a business methodology that aims to improve process, reduce waste and errors and increase customer satisfaction throughout an organization driven by data and statistical analysis, Six Sigma provides a way to minimize mistakes and maximize value in any business process from manufacturing to management. So, uh, Minitab is used to prepare data in simple form and to visualize the data in simple graphical output, scatter plot, box plot, histogram, etc. The two things, Minitab is generally, uh, you have already read, it generally contains two main type of files. One is project file and other is worksheet. Here we can write project file and worksheets. Project file contain, project file actually are made by or are made in Minitab, where worksheets contain variable data.
there are four areas in mini tab first one is screen second is menu bar third is toolbar and fourth is session window immediately sorry fourth is worksheet window this is third and this is second menu bar tool bar same thing worksheet window so mini tab has four areas first is a screen second is menu bar tool bar third is session window and fourth is worksheet window immediately after opening of mini tab it is visible two windows session window and worksheet window it means when you when you will open a mini tab software then you will see it has four uh, areas but when you will open a mini tab you will see only session window and worksheet window so in session window you will see it is the area that display the statistical results of data analysis in session window when you will open mini tab it will show you two windows session window and worksheet window so in session window you will see the result analysis of the data it means it displays the statistical results of the data analysis session window and what in what is in worksheet window in worksheet window you will see it contains the grid of rows and columns used to enter and manipulate the data it means in mini tab uh, like here uh, this is the session this is worksheet rows and column in which you will enter the data and also you will see a session window where there is a analysis of the results you will see you you put data in worksheet window and in the session window it displays the results of your uh, or stat it displays the statistical results of data analysis i i can displays it displays statistical results but in worksheet window uh, rows and columns to enter data as you enter your data in worksheet it uh, the session window will automatically displays the statistical results of your uh, data next is here we can draw a mini tab software like this this is a mini tab software it has toolbar mini bar it has toolbar mini bar when you will open a mini tab software then first of all you will see two windows the session window and the worksheet window here in the toolbar toolbar or mini bar and screen uh, when you there are many options like here like many options and here it is written as start there is a option start when you will click on the start option and you will get many more other options like it contains basic 
basic statics next regression next anova next boe and next control charts then quality tools then then multivariable then team series and tables non parametric EDA the last option is power and sample size so when you will open a minitab software you will see you will see two windows session window and worksheet window and then you will click on this start button and you will see basic statics regression anova doe control charts quality control sessional multivariable team series tables non parametric eda power and sample size these are the options when we click on this start button next is when you will click on the quality tool button then next options will come run chart pareto chart cause and effect individual distribution identification johnson transformation capability analysis and tolerance internal gauge study etc and many other options when you will click on the start button these options will come and when you will click on the quality tool button then run chart pareto chart cause and effect individual distribution identification johnson transformation capability analysis tolerance internal cage study etc these options will come thank you